Dome Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. Now, let's talk a little bit of uh, franchise title, right? The word we've had, what, about half a year or so, a little bit, maybe a little bit longer, franchise title, or the franchise belt and everything, is the WBC has created something that started a lot of confusion in boxing. We are, we're all over the place because of this franchise title, this franchise belt. We talk about it all the time. The only thing is we act like it's been there forever. You know, oh man, he's the franchise champion. Oh, he's a franchise champion. Um, what we got to do is not forget the history of it, right, before even we start saying it. Because I'm not going to call it franchise champion no more. I'm going to make sure to call it the Charlo belt, right? Jamal Charlo. If Jamal Charlo didn't exist, or if Jamal Charlo's name was Zemaretta, or Riata Murata, or something like that, we would never have the franchise belt. It would have never been thought about. And the belt was thought about because Canelo Alvarez had to fight his mandatory in Jamal Charlo. And because of that, the WBC came up with something and gave it the franchise name. It would always be, be called here, from now on, the Charlo belt. I think a lot of things that get uh, invented over the years and people forget why and what happened and this and that. We forget the history of it. Make sure you call it Charlo Belt. Make sure that every time we have to mention that belt, we mention Charlo. That'll be the only way to get people to understand, uh-oh, we better change it. We better uh, get that up out of here, right? Because if we only keep calling it franchise and everything is all over the place, the champions, the real champions are being called regular champions all of a sudden because they're trying to do it like that way. Right? We got to remember the franchise belt was made for people to not fight hard fighters. It started with Jamal, uh, Jamal Charlo. And then we've seen it happen with Devin Haney. And that's why um, uh, Teofimo Lopez is now the champion. And they created that monster in Teofimo Lopez. Right? Actually, Lomachenko asked for the same damn belt franchise so he didn't have to fight Devin Haney. He goes and loses to Lopez. It's the easier fight. And now Lopez has it, which it wasn't supposed to be transferable. Right? Basically, we ain't going to let Devin Haney have it, and we ain't letting uh, uh, Jamal Charlo have it. We, you know, uh, now uh, Teofimo Lopez is telling Devin Haney, hey, you get fight somebody hard, and then we can fight. Oh, but Devin Haney was the mandatory for Lomachenko, and Lomachenko didn't fight him, and so now he's the champion, right? But because Teofimo has a franchise belt, the Charlo belt, he's able to act like uh, Devin Haney hasn't fought anybody making sure that, you know, when he fought Abdulev, that was an interim fight to become the mandatory, right? So if the WBC is making a wrong decision by making Ab Abdulev the uh, interim fight, then it's the same WBC who's going to give you a belt that never existed before. So, are we, you know, that decision, if you're not good with the opponents from, TF, from uh, Devin Haney, then that's something to, to get with the uh, WBC about because they made him the interim fight. He won that. And he was mandatory to fight Lomachenko. He didn't do it. That's why he is the real champion. But with this confusion, the WC makes this confusion and it sits back and laughs at everybody because they got the media uh, playing with the same game. The media has just ran with the whole thing. Oh, franchise, like they've been saying it forever, right? They could explain it right there. Franchise belt came because Canelo didn't want to fight Charlo. They don't want to say that. That's why Charlo belt. So that way we know what time it is because this confusion, right, is a delusion. It's not really confused. Ain't nobody confused, right? The mainstream media, nobody is confused. They can just act like it. Franchise. Oh, yeah, he's a franchise type. They know damn well, uh, you know what, Charlo was pretty hard, and Canelo didn't want to fight him. Bottom line, right? Even, I think that was, isn't that, you know, more and more is a pre-pandemic, but I'd say this, uh, a fight with Charlo and Canelo is one of the biggest fights in the middleweight division, especially in Texas. Pre-pandemic, it was, was by far, because they would fill up any stadium in Texas because Canelo has a, a large following there, and uh, the Charlos are from Texas. That would be huge, and we know it. But even for the, the fight, you can't say the style, like Canelo likes to call Andre boring. Can't say that about Charlo. Can't, you can't say he won't come forward, right? Just didn't happen. So what we, we needed something. We got this franchise, and we the act like it's confusion. No, that's selective ignorance. The, the, the damn media is playing like they don't know nothing, playing like they're confused. So what you want to do is you want to bring them back to focus, start calling that belt Charlo Belt. Just go start calling Charlo Belt because that makes everybody focus on why it's there. 
And when that, if somebody, if we, if we all start saying Charlo Belt, I guarantee you, all of a sudden they would oh, come and correct that. We've got to get that out of there, right? Because, yeah, that's what that belt is. The belt is there because Jamal Charlo was a hard opponent for Canelo. That's all this whole confusion is. So that's all we got to be saying. Nothing else. We wouldn't have no Teofimo Lopez talking about he's the champion. He would have had to go fight uh, Devin Haney for Undisputed because that belt wouldn't have existed. Now he can sit back and act like, I got belt sent in the mail and it says doesn't say franchise on it and all that old that stuff that the WBC will not come out and clear up. Right? Won't come out and clear up. You can't all of a sudden just take a belt from Devin Haney and give it to somebody else. But yes, you can because the show gave the vacant belt to Canelo when he went up to 168. So the bottom line is there's a lot of confusion with the franchise belt and it's on purpose. So what you do to make them focus, that belt here won't be called franchise no more. That doesn't exist. Charlo belt. Charlo belt. And it's going to always be that name until y'all get it up out of there. If not, Charlo belt. So every time we mention the belt, if it's five years down the road, Jamal Charlo's name will never be forgotten because if he wasn't dangerous, we wouldn't have that damn belt. Dome Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all. Thank <laughs> you.